In the last couple of videos in this module, we were exploring the creation of a game that I called Wonky Kong, which used the left and right arrows to control a monkey that ran across on a screen and caught uh, bananas that fell from the sky. In this particular uh, set of videos now, I want to explore a completely different game that's going to use mouse control uh, and allow us to have uh, creatures that move around a lot more on the screen. So let's look at how that would work. Uh, again, you're welcome to use any sort of paradigm, any sort of sprites and backgrounds that you like for this. For mine, I'm going to call this game Fish Chomp, and I'm going to have it consist of a, sh a shark that runs around eating fish in the ocean. So I'm going to you know, come down here in my uh, sprite library, and you'll see that alphabetically here we've got this shark that I'm going to add to the stage. I'm going to also impl import a fish. Uh, there's a couple of different fish to choose from in here. I'm going to use this purple fish as, as the, the fish the shark is going for. So we're going to add in that shark and that fish. Again, I'm going to get rid of the cat. And then let's add in the background of the ocean. So we'll go to the stage and go to the backdrop. And down at the very bottom of this, there's one called Underwater that is just sort of a nice ocean scene. And so we're going to make a game where this shark runs around trying to catch these fish. And so let's think what places everybody would look like. Uh, I, you know, when the game starts, I want the shark to go someplace on the screen. Right? And so we might want to randomly assign that to begin with. So let's see here. When the green flag is clicked, I want the shark to go to some random place on the screen. So motion, go to, um, let's see here. I'm going to do random numbers. We're going to need to have two random number blocks here. One for the x coordinate. Remember, that was negative 240 to positive 240. And the y coordinate is negative 180 to positive 180. All right. And so we're going to put those in for x and y. Kind of got off the screen there with my y. Let's try this again. All right. And so now we can randomly go to some place on the screen when, when this presses, right? Every time I press it, he goes to a different location. Um, I'm going to look. That shark is about right. He's going to be a little bigger than I want. So I'm going to go into looks and also change his size, set his size to something a little bit smaller. Uh, let's try 80%. Uh, that's pretty good. That's about the right size for him. Now I want to do something pretty comparable for my fish. In fact, realistically, I want to do exactly this set of code again uh, I want him to go to random locations, and I want to make him smaller, maybe not 80, but I want this exact piece of code. So here's something you haven't seen before probably, but if I want to copy this code from the shark into the fish, I can actually do that. I can take this, left click on the code, grab this, and I'm going to drag it all the way over here, and I'm going to hover right over the fish icon in my sprite menu, and I'm going to release it. Now it doesn't look like anything happened. You didn't see any change down here. But in fact, if I go over to the fish sprite and we look, lo and behold, there is the exact same piece of code. The fish is going to go to some random location. Uh, I want this fish to be a considerably bit smaller. Let's try 50%. Right? And that looks pretty good. So now every time I click on this, the fish and the shark go to random locations in the aquarium. That, that's a good first increment. We've got the setup for places, everybody. In our second increment, we then want to look at how we move the shark based on the mouse operation. 